The bond and friendship between Kittle and Landers can't be overstated. Even the families are really close, and I got to sit down with the proud parents ahead of arguably the biggest game of their kids' careers thus far. Oh, it's huge. I mean, this was Tyree's dream. This is what he's wanted ever since he was a kid. Sometimes it seems like it's not real, and it's like me and my wife will look at each other like, I can't believe he's really out there. He's really playing at the school of his dreams. Both Tyree and BB are at the school they grew up hoping to play for. They've been on this journey together. I've encountered a lot of people that, you know, that always says, oh, you're so lucky, you're so lucky. Like, no, it's not that we're lucky, we're blessed, number one. Number two, they put the work in. You can't get to Division I um, football at Michigan and at Ohio State just because, you know, you have to put the work in to be able to be there. They did it together every football season for the four years of high school. They, they were always together. Let's go to the gym together. Let's go work out together. They pushed each other. There was each other's support system. With this massive matchup looming, I asked how much they talk about this game leading up to Saturday. He definitely talks about it. I mean, this is a big game for him, you know, living here in Ohio. Yeah, he, he definitely wants to be the Ohio State. For me, no. We never really discuss this game. Actually, we never really discuss a lot of the games. Tyree admitted after last year's loss that BB had bragging rights. But when they're home from school, there really isn't much discussion about this rivalry. Even though any trash talk would simply be all in good fun. They may just kind of talk about, you know, how hard practice may have been or workouts may have been, or they may be talking about their classes or something like that. It's never with mm -hmm. them either just kind of nitpicking or anything back and forth. It's just typically like just straight like football talk if they talk about it. It's clear where the allegiances lie with each family, but for those at the games that don't know, it might come as a shock to see someone in scarlet and gray cheer on a player in the maize and blue or vice versa. And when he does well, I, I cheer for him. I do. Do you get weird looks? Uh, I don't worry about him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I always say it to him, like, that's one of BB's best friends. So some of them are look at me crazy in the crowd. I'm like, that's like my baby. So y'all yeah. just going to have to be mad because if he makes a play, I'm going to cheer for him. Yeah. Um, that's We've always done that. I mean, that's just how we are. Um, they're like brothers. Um, I think he might have been over at her house more than mine. <laughs> <laughs> She always kept a bunch of food in the refrigerator, so <laughs> they come over and eat. From raiding the fridge to working out together, now both Tyree and BB are key players at the school of their dreams, about to play in one of college football's biggest rivalries. Probably stepping back this Saturday to look at it, knowing that this will be Tyree's first year starting against Ohio State. So I think reality, reality is really going to set in come Saturday. Having seen every snap of their careers, I ask if there's one play that sticks out above all the rest. Touchdown, Robert Landers, BB. It would be his called back touchdown. Mm. <laughs> that was heartbreaking for both of us. Now that he did talk to me about. Oh, there's a lot of them, but he had a pick six this year. So, <laughs> yeah. Tyree Kittle. He had a sack that week. We, that he had a good game. I remember being at the first home game and he came out and touched that banner knowing he was going to start that game and I actually cried. It was, it was a great feeling. The pride these parents feel is truly indescribable and Saturday should be another moment to remember. I never stop telling him how proud I am of him. Um, he's a great kid. He keeps his nose clean. He does what he's supposed to do.